Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Exceeding Grace. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you are in good spirit. I am sure when you offer your life to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord is able to guide you, able to protect you, able to use you, able to give every spiritual blessings into your own life. Let us thank the Lord for the wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us seek His assistance. Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you more and more. We need your greater presence into our personal life. Holy Spirit, help us. Holy Spirit, guide us. Holy Spirit, empower us. Holy Spirit, be with us. Holy Spirit, give us the grace to listen from you. Give us the grace to obey you. Give us the grace to walk with you. Come Holy Spirit. My dear friends, let us open up our hearts, mind, everything to the Holy Spirit. Let us say sorry to the Holy Spirit. The times we neglected him. The times we disobeyed him. The times we kept the unforgiveness in our own heart. The times we say yes to the sinful ways in our own life. Oh Holy Spirit, I am really, really sorry for all my shortcomings. Wash me with your precious blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Oh Lord Jesus, I offer my life, my spirit, everything to you right now. Come Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Come Holy Spirit. I welcome you into my life. I ask your great presence into my personal life. Holy Spirit, I need you. I need your wisdom. I need your understanding. Fill me with the spirit of revelation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hala, hala, hala. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. The mighty anointing, the powerful anointing upon us right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit, follow me now. Your anointing come with your power. Love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul. And every day, grow to love you more. Come, Holy Spirit, follow me now. I need your anointing come with your power. Love you, Holy Spirit, you're captivating my soul, and every day grow to love you more. I'm reaching for your heart, you hold my life in your hands, drawing me closer to you, feel your power in you, nothing compares to this place. Where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you Feel your power in you Nothing compares to this place where I can see you face to face I worship you in spirit and in truth 
spirit follow me now Need your anointing come with your power Love you Holy Spirit You're captivating my soul Every day grow to love you more I'm reaching for your heart your hands growing closer to you feel your power in you nothing compares to this place where I can see you face to face I worship you spirit and in tune I'm reaching for your heart all my life in your hands growing to you, feel your power in you, nothing compares to this place where I can see you face to face. dear friends couple of days back i had an online spiritual program for the irish community we know that these days these times we hear a lot about healings deliverances protection of the lord blessings of the lord we encourage people to live in hope we ask the people to repent we pray for the families sing people all those who are going through the depression spirit of confusion lack of faith everything is very very important we are living in a culture we are living in a time our families our friends each one of us needed greater healings and protection and blessings in every areas of our life but one day when i spent time with the lord when i reflected upon one of the particular subject i thought oh my jesus oh my holy spirit i am not keen or particular about this important area in my spiritual life knowingly or unknowingly this area has no connection in my life so i asked the irish community how many of you are how many of you are last one week without fail with the greater sincerity and greater desire and taste pray to the holy spirit to have the infilling of the wisdom how many of you deliberately powerfully prayed or oh, seek the holy spirit to have that divine wisdom in your life my dear friends including myself everyone said no the same question now i am asking through this shekhaina television channel for the faithful in every continent and every country how many of you are able to pray for the spiritual wisdom for your family life for your personal life for your ministry life on a day to day basis with the great confidence with the great conviction this not my criticism or judgment i think majority of us will say oh no no 
I never prayed for wisdom. I never seek for wisdom. I have many, many prayer intentions for my family, for my job, my children, their exams, my business. But I am not much bothered about the wisdom in my life. I am not that much convinced about the importance of the wisdom in my life. So my dear friends, in this episode, let us go through some of the beautiful scriptures so that the Holy Spirit may give certain deeper insight about the importance and the necessity to have this spiritual wisdom in our life. St. Paul, in his letters again and again, praying and reminding the faithful to have this spirit of wisdom and revelation in their life. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him. We need spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation in our day-to-day -day life. It is very, very important. Again, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. Let us hear the beautiful scripture. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. They never ceased prayer. For what? To have that spiritual wisdom and understanding. So Simple knew very well the importance of spiritual wisdom and understanding. That is why he proclaimed, we read it in Corinthians, we know the mind of Christ. How we come to know the mind of Christ? It is through the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Again, another scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8. The one is given through the Spirit, the utterance of wisdom. And to another, the utterance of knowledge, according to the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of Spirit. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. My dear friends, look at that. Saint Paul giving a big list to have the beautiful character of the Holy Spirit, to have the charisms of the Holy Spirit into our life. And many of us are so eager, so happy to receive the spirit of healing, gift of healing, gift of miracles, interpretation, gift of tongues, vision. But in this particular scripture, we should notice that the apostle starting with the utterance of spirit of wisdom. The greater importance, the prime importance, the first among the least, St. Paul is talking about the spirit, the utterance of wisdom. So it is very, very important. Jesus said in Luke chapter 21, verse 15, For I will give you words and wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. Jesus told us, I will give you the wisdom, the power, and you may be able to overcome every challenge. And one of the familiar scripture from James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lacking wisdom, you ask for the Lord and you will receive it. You will receive in abundance 
Lord will give generously. My dear friends, it is our duty to ask for the wisdom. It is our duty to pray for the wisdom. We have to fill with the wisdom. Our family members has to be filled with the wisdom. Our parish members has to be filled with the wisdom. Our spiritual leaders has to be filled with the wisdom. It is very, very important in our spiritual journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us take a beautiful decision. Today onwards, I am going to pray. I am going to spend time with the Lord to receive that spirit of wisdom and understanding and the spirit of revelation into my life. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13. Happy are those who find wisdom and those who get understanding. For her income is better than silver and her revenue better than gold. Word of God is teaching us it is better than silver and gold. It has greater importance in your life. My dear friends, we might think my children will get a star for every exam. If I get the pin number, if I get that particular promotion, if I get that good salary, I am so happy. My family will be okay. But no. Wisdom is far greater than anything on this earth. It is far better than silver and gold. And we have to pray for this beautiful wisdom into our life. Hallelujah. Again, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 6. Get wisdom. Get insight. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. Get wisdom. Get insight. It is very, very important in our life. So we have to pray for the spirit of wisdom for our children every day. Holy Spirit, fill my children with your divine wisdom. Through the wisdom, they may overcome every darkness of the intellectual capacities. Through the spirit of wisdom, they may be able to overcome every darkness in their mind, in their heart. Holy Spirit, I am a good husband, I am a good wife, but at the end of the day, there are problems in our family. Give us the wisdom to lead a family life with the unity and understanding, with the greater blessings. Holy Spirit, come and bless us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, my dear friends, it is very, very important to lead a life with the spirit of wisdom and revelation. I came across many, many anointed persons and they used to pray every single day for the infilling of the wisdom of God in their life. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 5 verse 1 and 2. My child... Be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding so that you may hold on to prudence and your lips may guard knowledge. It is very, very important to have that prudence in our life. You may have highly educated. You may have great uh, world experiences. You may have logical thinking. But... If you are lacking wisdom, you become a failure in your family. You, you become a failure in your business. You become a failure in your workplaces. Only one reason you are lacking the wisdom. So it is very, very important. The word of God is encouraging us. Incline your ears to me and ask for the wisdom. Fill with the wisdom so that you may be able to lead a better life. For the glory of the Lord. Again, uh, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16. How much better to get wisdom than God? To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Again, the word of God is emphasizing the wisdom is 
very very important in our life and another scripture proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is insight praise the lord many people are not bothered about spiritual life they are not bothered about after death why they are lacking the wisdom the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and in our day to day life we should have a very practical approach to wisdom to receive the wisdom to grow in wisdom we should have a real practical approach let us meditate some of the scriptures book of wisdom chapter 1 verse 4 because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin if you want wisdom it is very very important to say goodbye to every sin we should not keep a crooked mind we should not keep a hypocrite attitude in our life then we cannot receive the wisdom there are people they want blessings at the same time they want to connect with the worldly things the word of god clearly says someone is compromising with the world someone is living in sin it is so difficult it is impossible to receive the wisdom of the lord in their life so my dear friends very very important we should keep our body mind and soul in holiness according to the will of the lord hallelujah the second point wisdom chapter 6 verse 17 the beginning of wisdom is the most sincere desire for instruction i am concerned for instruction is love of her so it is very very important to receive the discipline if we are not happy with instructions if we are not happy with discipline in our own life then it is impossible to receive the wisdom in our life many people they like to instruct others they they are so happy to guide others instruct others correct others but they don't want correction in their own life they don't want discipline in their own life they don't like someone is criticizing them correcting them that is a wrong attitude and the word of god clearly teaching us if you want the wisdom you have to allow yourself to receive the corrections in your life to receive the instructions in your life sometimes your wife sometimes your children sometimes your elders sometimes your manager sometimes other people they may give instructions they may give corrections they may give real advices so in humility we have to receive those areas into our life in order to receive the wisdom in our life hallelujah and another greater practical area wisdom chapter 7 verse 7 therefore i prayed and understanding was given me i called on god and the spirit of wisdom came to me it is very very important to trust in the lord and to pray and call on god to receive the understanding to receive the wisdom that is why i started this episode how many of us are eagerly praying how many of us are eagerly waiting to receive the wisdom how many of us are eagerly seeking the wisdom of the lord in our day to day life we should have the real time allow jesus allow holy spirit to enter into our life with the wisdom and understanding and the spirit of revelation it will become a greater greater blessings in our life hallelujah hallelujah again the word of god is encouraging us wisdom chapter 7 verse 28 for god loves nothing so much 
of the person who lives with wisdom. A person who lives with wisdom. Those are the people Lord loves so much. You want to become a best friend of Jesus Christ. To live with wisdom. You want to have the deeper intimacy with the Lord. To live with wisdom. Wisdom is very, very important in our life. Again, wisdom chapter 7 verse 30. Against wisdom, evil does not prevail. Evil does not prevail against wisdom. My dear friends, let us spend a little moment in prayer. Let us say sorry to the Holy Spirit, sorry to the Lord. Lord, we never recognize, we never given importance to receive wisdom in our life. We never prayed earnestly for this beautiful anointing, the beautiful virtue, the beautiful character. And today, along with all the scriptures we listened, we ask you, bless us with your divine wisdom, your divine understanding. And you may open that spirit of revelation into our life so that we may come to know your will, so that we may have that strong commitment and courage to follow your commandments. Holy Spirit, fill us with your wisdom. Holy Spirit, come and visit my family, my children, my relatives, my friends. All of us may fill with your wisdom. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. I allow you to enter into my life. I open my heart. I open my mind. I open every doors of my body, mind and soul so that you can take the possession. You can take the ownership and you can fill me with your wisdom and joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.